Like, why does it look so greenish gray? It doesn't look black like it's supposed to. And as you see, you get a very green looking spot, which is concerning. I think what I'm going to do, I don't know what I'm gonna do. My name is Zach Ellis and welcome to my journey. I don't know where I'm going or how I'm going to get there, but I'm going to be tearing shit up every step of the way. Along with a few friends of course. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll be building, modifying, repairing, fabricating, and racing every chance I get. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to smash the subscribe button and of course, enjoy the video. In the garage messing with the E30 yet again. If you didn't see the last video you saw, uh, I had a little bit of a rust issue in the car. I ended up pulling the carpet out of the car, discovering all the rust that has to be repaired. It's bad, but it's kind of what I expected. So definitely go check that video out. I'll link it down in the description below. I decided that I'm going to load up the carpet from the car in the back of my truck. I'm gonna go to a local car wash since I don't have a power washer. I'm gonna power wash the carpet, get as clean as possible, and then I'm going to dye the carpet black. So, we're gonna go ahead and pull the carpet up from the floor where I have it now. I'm gonna hit it with some spot clean, just try to get some of the really dirty spots. Then we'll load it up and go to the car wash. That took a lot of the staining out of the carpet. Um, I can already tell this carpet's gonna be like a million freaking pounds now. <laughs> also, if you're gonna do this, plan on getting really wet. We're 
go ahead and elevate this thing, let it dry for however long, and then we'll pick the camera back up when it's ready to dye it. See ya. What's up guys? We're back out here with the carpet from the E30. We got the carpet all dried out. I went and picked up the dye this morning, which I just got basic writ dye. All purpose. I don't know. I guess people use it for their clothes. I got it at Target, so I had to do a, a you know, 8 a.m. Target run, but Look at the directions. It seems super simple. It seems like you cut this with warm water, which we're just gonna use regular fucking water. I got two gallons of water also. Um, and you start spraying. And then you get a brush and you kinda agitate it so it helps sink into all the crooks and uh, crevices of the carpet. And you should be good to go. So we're gonna go ahead, get this uh, carpet off of the ladder, get it spread out on the floor, and then we'll start dying. What's up guys? We're back out here now um, to check on an update of the carpet to see how well it uh, absorbed into the carpet. And unfortunately, I will tell you, it did not do as good of a job as I had hoped or expected. It, uh, it is black. It's got like almost a grayish tint to it. Greenish grayish tint. It, I think it looks pretty accurate. It looks a little lighter on the camera. Not a big deal. I mean, it's at least dark. So I, that was my first concern. I was like, why does it look so greenish gray? It doesn't look black like it's supposed to. So I decided there was a few sections where I might've went a little heavy with the, uh, with the dye that felt not crusty, but didn't feel as good as they should. They were a little bit stiffer than the carpet was before. So I used my shop vac or my uh, wet vac and I wet a spot of the carpet and then I tried to extract it. And this is the result. Boom. So, as you see, they're um, very, very light compared to the rest. But I'm either going to extract all of this dye or I'm going to go and go back to the pressure washer and pressure wash it out, which I really don't want to fucking do. Um, so, luckily, with YouTube magic, bruh, <laughs> that is a fail. A total fail but it's all right it's not the end of the world but I will show you this I went out and I purchased duplicolor vinyl and fabric dye so it's just a spray uh, it's like spray paint but it's dye and I did the rear carpet section so this was a small section so I was able to dye it or extract it dry it and then dye it so as you see, it is actually black. Um, this stuff is super potent, uh, strong as shit. So when you do it, make sure you're in a ventilated area. At least you guys now know that this stuff here, it ain't it. It ain't it. Now granted, I didn't follow the directions like perfectly. Um, I washed it very well. I extracted it. It dried. I shook it. The only thing is I did not add it with hot water. I did it with room temp water water so like 80 degrees or something but it didn't even hold it didn't stay in the carpet for a shit 
So I'm going to go ahead, uh, put the camera down. I'll pick it back up next week when we're back out here dying it again. And we'll finally be done with this fucking catastrophe of a carpet. All right, guys, it is now day three of messing with this carpet. Uh, we're going to go ahead and spray on the vinyl dye, the Duplicolor brand. Carpet is looking very green, but going by the piece that I did, the like back portion of the carpet, it should come out very good. So we're going to go ahead, lay down two or three coats of this, I guess, and then um, I'm going to come back tomorrow. I'm going to give it 24 hours, come back tomorrow, and it should be completely finished, and we can finally wrap this video up. So I've got one and a half cans on the carpet and this is how it looks so far. It, uh, it is black for sure. You see how this side looks a little more green? Well, what I did was um, sprayed the carpet as it was when I got here. Once I finished spraying, which by the way, this paint or dye, when you spray it on, it dries almost immediately. Maybe 30 seconds, it's dry to touch. Um, but I sprayed the whole carpet as it was and then I went on the passenger side and I don't know if you can see this line here where I brushed. So the carpet was all pushed forward. Now I am going to push it all backwards to move all the fibers the opposite direction and hopefully when I get the uh, uh, more cans for the carpet I'll spray it again tomorrow and hopefully now that the fibers have pushed the opposite direction the spray can get into all those little nooks and crannies and we won't see any shades of green. It looks great. I mean it came out almost perfect. So passenger side little green, driver side is black. I'm going to go ahead I'm going to finish brushing this carpet to bend all the fibers the opposite direction and then I'll pick the camera back up tomorrow when we put the uh, final coats on this thing and finally wrap the carpet. All right guys, we're back with like day three or whatever day it is now in the garage. I got one more can. So I used, total it's gonna be two and a half cans. The carpet is still, so the driver's side looks perfect. It, um, it no longer looks really green anymore. The section over here still looks a little green. I think it needs a little bit more of this, um, and then we're gonna wrap it up. So I'm gonna go ahead, spray the carpet one last time, and then we'll uh, we'll be finished with this damn carpet dye.
right guys, so as you've seen, we are officially finished with the carpet. It went from tan, very dirty originally, and then now black. So I, uh, I'm happy with it. The, uh, the carpet is still pretty soft to touch, and the passenger footwell, it's a little bit rough, only because the carpet was so matted down just from 30 years of passengers, dirty shoes, things like that. But it's not anything that I'm really concerned about. It's not like every time I get in the car, I'm touching the carpet. Uh, it's just my dirty shoes are touching it. So I I'm happy with the way it came out. I hope that you guys can use this video as a lesson. Um, Rit dye, the dye I got from Target, you can get it at Walmart, any like hobby place. It's, it's not the carpet or not the dye to use. Now it says it works on cotton, wool, and nylon. I don't know what this carpet is, but I'm assuming it's somewhere in there. Maybe it's polyester. I don't fucking know. I really doubt that, but either way, this dye did not hold up. It didn't hold up at all. Not even any abuse. I just put water on it and it started to come out. Um, so I can only imagine if you used Rit dye on your interior carpet, you get a rainy day or something, or someone spills a drink in your car, it's gonna be a fucking mess. And your carpet's gonna be a different color now. Um, so steer clear. Hopefully this is a major lesson for every, Well, it's a lesson for me Hopefully it's a, a learning point for you guys not to use this but to opt for duplicolor vinyl fabric or something similar to this um, I got this at AutoZone and then they sell it at Advance Auto. And I'm sure they sell it everywhere else um, This stuff worked out very well. Like I said the carpet's still pretty soft to touch um, It's holding up way better it's dry it's not coming out like it was with the rit dye so i'm i'm super satisfied with how this worked uh i'm curious to see how long it will hold up to uh people getting in and out of the car especially me in the driver's seat and then on the vinyl sections where it, like the foot pads in the driver's side i'm curious how long that will hold up for the time being I love it. I think it's a 10 out of 10. Um, but yeah, lesson for you guys. Don't use RIT. Use something in a can like Duplicolors. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully this has prevented you from making a huge mistake with your personal builds. And uh, we're going to wrap this video up. Don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions or if you want to call me an idiot. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah.